in uh, Leviticus chapter 19 in the King James Version. <clears throat> and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, Israel and say unto them, Ye shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. Ye shall fear every man his mother and his father and keep my Sabbaths. I am the Lord your God. Turn ye not unto idols, nor make to yourselves molten gods. I am the Lord your God. And if ye offer a sacrifice of peace offerings unto the Lord, ye shall offer it at your own will. And it shall be eaten the same day ye offer it, and on the morrow, and if aught remain until the third day, it shall be burnt in the fire. And if it be eaten at all on the third day, it is abominable, it shall not be accepted. Therefore every one that eateth it shall bear his iniquity, because he hath profaned the hollow thing of the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people and when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corners of thy field, neither shalt thou gather the gleanings of thy harvest, and thou shalt not glean thy vineyard, neither shalt thou gather every grape of thy vineyard. Thou shalt leave them for the poor and, the, and stranger. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall not steal neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. And ye shall not swear by my name falsely, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God, I am the Lord. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shalt fear thy God. I am the Lord. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tale bearer among thy people, neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt not in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Ye shall keep my statutes that shall not let thy cattle gender <clears throat> with a diverse kind, thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed, neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. And whosoever lieth carnally with a woman, that is a bondmaid, betrothed to an husband, and not at all redeemed, nor freedom given her, she shall be scourged. They shall not be put to death, because she was not free. And he shall bring his trespass offering unto the Lord, unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, even a ram, for a trespass offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for him with the ram of the trespass offering before the Lord for his sin, which he hath done. And the sin which he hath done shall be forgiven him. And when ye shall come, and when ye shall come into the land and shall have planted all manner of trees for food, then ye shall count the fruit thereof as uncircumcised. Three years shall it be as uncircumcised unto you. It shall not be eaten of. But in the fourth year, all the fruit thereof shall be holy to praise the Lord withal. And in the fifth year shall ye eat of the fruit thereof that it may yield unto you the increase thereof. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall not eat anything with the blood, neither shall ye use enchantment nor observe times. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt 
thou mar the corners of thy beard, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom, and the land become full of wickedness. Ye shall keep my Sabbaths, and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Regard not them that have fam familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards, to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Thou shalt rise up before the... Uh, hoary head, and honor the face of the old man, and fear thy God. I am the Lord. And if a stranger sojourn with thee in your land, you shall not vex him. But the stranger that dwelleth with you shall be unto you as one born among you, and thou shalt love him as, as thyself, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, in meat yard or meat yard or meat yard, meat yard in weight, or in measure. <clears throat> just balances, just weights, a just ipa, and a just hen shall ye have. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe all my statutes and all my judgments, and do them. I am the Lord. Okay, huge amount of things here, right? Okay, first and foremost, immediately take note of this because this is going to come back particularly in the book of Ruth. Um, but also, the Lord, Jesus is going to talk about something similar. It's going to, this comes up a couple of times. Listen to this in um, verse 9 of chapter 19. And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corners of thy field, neither shalt thou gather the gleanings of thy harvest, and thou shalt not glean thy vineyard, neither shalt thou gather every grape of thy vineyard, thou shalt leave them for the poor and stranger. I am the Lord your God. If you've been with us through the NIV version, then you know what happens in the book of Ruth. You know what Ruth ends up doing due to her mother-in-law, Naomi. How, why, what, where, when, how, why, and what Boaz was doing. If you've been reading with this, have you already got that aha moment? Because we've done circled back. So we've gone back and now we're rereading through the King James Version, but as you can see, there's a reason for everything. Loving thy neighbor as thyself and also taking care, not only of our own concerns, but others that we may not even know. We may not have any thought of. We may not have any feeling of. We, we may not know. So think of that, thinking about that in our lives, bringing past to present immediately. Do we do that sometimes? Do we glean everything? Do we try to be the first and try to be the foremost and try to take the most and have the most and have the best? Or do we take a step back? Do we allow for others to partake? Do we not accept the best or not seek the best and take what's left or allow for things to be taken or released or you know I don't really need this but I see that we're both here for the same thing by all means go ahead and take it God bless where how how do you obtain that type of strength because that is strength. It's from the same person who shows us mercy. And hey, there's a lot here. There is a lot. Before we go on to point number two, quickly, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel? What does it make you think? <laughs> 